Insta Accelerization, or how I like to call it, Black Sun Pictures. It is pretty common when you take pictures with the Instax Mini cameras, like the Instax Mini 11, that some parts of your image that are super bright, particularly the sun in the sky, turns completely black instead of white, what you would expect. I think most people see this when they're taking pictures of landscapes where they include the sun in the composition, or when they're trying to take pictures of sunsets with their Instax cameras. If you look at Wikipedia, they say it is tone reversal in case of extreme overexposure. As I said, it's pretty common to see this effect when you include sun in the picture. So here I have a sun and it's completely black. Another common example is when you try to take a picture of yourself in a mirror and the flash is visible in the mirror, that will turn completely black. And the last example I have here is when I was trying to play with the manual exposure on the Instax Y300 and I completely blow down the exposure because of an error. You can see that uh, the areas that receive the most light turn black instead of white. The take home message here is there's nothing wrong with your camera, there's nothing wrong with your film, it's just how Instax film reacts when there is extreme overexposure in the frame. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like so YouTube recommends it to more people. This effect of solarization has been known for a real long time since the beginning of the photography. It was pretty common with the early photographic processes, but I think most people are not familiar with it because digital doesn't do this obviously because once the too much light hits the sensor, it just turns white, it's blown out. And modern films used in the 80s and 90s right before digital also didn't use to uh, exhibit this behavior. You will most likely see this if you're trying to do some alternative processes from the late 1800s, but you're not gonna see it with digital or modern films. But the Instax film is really susceptible to this behavior, so it's very common to see this uh, overexposure black areas uh, in your Instax print. The science about how this happens is not entirely clear. Uh, on Wikipedia, there are three different theories. So there is the regression theory, then there is the coagulation theory, and the bromide migration theory. I read through them and it's pretty complicated, so I won't go into it in this video. If you're really interested, I'll put the link to Wikipedia down below. But the way I think about it is that if the exposure is so extreme that it messes with the development of the area, the area remains black because it can't properly develop inside the Instax integral film. So unfortunately, you can't turn off this effect in the Instax film. If you put sun in your image, it's gonna turn black most likely. So let me know down in the comments if you have any idea how to use this effect creatively in the Instax prints. Thanks for watching and see you next time.